Shall we pray? Heavenly Father, we are here together in the name of Lord Jesus Christ. We are now ready to receive your words. Give us spirit, wisdom, and revelation, and open our eyes of understanding so that we may be able to see an abundant inheritance prepared by you for us, O oh Lord. And so we want to be cleansed by the, the water in your words, Lord, to make us spiritually without a dot and blame, Lord, and no wrinkle, Lord, to be ready for the bride of Christ Jesus. In the name of Lord Jesus Christ, amen. All right, let me read the book of Psalm, chapter 4, okay? This is, is a prayer of King David when he was in distress. Hear me when I call, O God, of my righteousness. Thou hast enlarged me when I was in distress. Have mercy upon me and hear my prayer. O you sons of men, how long will you turn my glory into shame? How long will you love vanity and seek after leasing Selah? But know that the Lord hath set apart him that is godly for himself. The Lord will hear when I call upon him. Stand in awe and sin not. Commute with your own heart upon your bed and be still cellar. Offer the sacrifices of righteousness and put your trust in the Lord. There will be many, they say, who will shew us any good. Lord, lift thou up the light of thy countenance upon me. Thou hast to put the gladness in my heart more than in the time that their, their corn and their wine increased. I will both lay me down in peace and sleep, for thou, Lord, only makest me dwell in safety. Amen. Yes. Only, our Lord Jesus is the only one who can keep us in peace, in safety. All right, book of Genesis, chapter 15, 1 through 21. Today's message is, you know, the faith of Abraham before God. The faith of Abraham, God, you know, counted it as, you know, righteousness. Same thing. Our faith is like, you know, Abraham to be justified and saved. Okay, let me read, you know, book of Genesis chapter 15, verse 1 through 21. After these things, in the word of the Lord came unto Abraham in a vision, saying, Fear not, Abraham, I am thy shield, and thy ex exceeding great reward. And Abraham said, Lord God, what will thou give me, seeing I go childless, and the steward of my house is this Eliezer of Damascus. And Abraham said, Behold to me, thou hast given no seed, and lo, one born in my house is mine heir. And behold, the word of the Lord came unto him, saying, This shall not be thine heir, but he that shall come forth out of thine own bowels shall be thine heir. And he brought him forth abroad and said, I look now toward heaven and tell the stars if there be, thou be able to number, number them. And he said unto him, So shall thy seed be. And he believed in the Lord, and he counted it to him for righteousness. And he said unto him, I am the Lord that brought thee out of Ur of the Chaldees to give thee this land to inherit it. And he said, Lord God, whereby shall I know that I shall inherit it? And he said unto him, 
take me and high four. I was three years old, and a she goat of three years old, and a ram of three years old, and a turtle of dove and a young pigeon. And he took unto him all these and divided them into the midst and laid each piece one against another, but the birds divided he not. And who, when he, the fowls came down uh, upon the carcass, Abraham drove them away. And when the sun was going down, a deep sleep fell down Abraham, and lo, an horror of great darkness fell upon him. And he said unto Abraham, Know of surety that thy seed shall be a stranger in a land that is not theirs, and shall serve them whom, and they shall afflict them four hundred years. And also the nation whom they shall serve will I judge, and afterwards shall they come out of with great substance. And thou shalt go to thy fathers in peace, and thou shalt be buried in a good, of, good old age, but in the fourth generation they shall come hither again, for the iniquity of the Amorites is not yet full. And it came to pass that when the sun went down and it was dark, behold, a smoking furnace and a burning lamp that passes between those pieces. In the same day, the Lord made a covenant with Abraham, saying, Unto thy seed have I given this land from the river of Egypt unto the great river, the river Euphrates, the Kenites, and Kenichites, and uh, Carmelites, and Hittites, and Perichites, and uh, Rephimes, and the Amorites, and the Canaanites, and the Gershonites, and the Jebusites. Amen. Yeah, Apostle Paul testified to saints in Rome that God calls them that he foreknew to save them. He said like this, For whom he did foreknow, he also did predestinate to be conformed to the image of his Son, that he might be the firstborn among many brethren, Moreover, when whom he did predestinate, them he also called, and whom he called, them he also justified, and whom he justified, them he also glorified. You know, if you are saved, okay, you are predestinated to be same as the image of his son, Jesus Christ. When the Lord God called Abraham out of Babylon, where his father was idol maker, and led him to the land of Canaan, when God called him, he gave him a promise of blessing that he would become a great nation and bless him and make his name great, and he shall be blessing himself. God will also bless those who bless him, he who curse him, will be cursed, and all nations will be blessed in him, Abraham. After a long time, the Lord God came back to him again in a vision. Until then, he had not given him any son, but God said that he who will be his heir will not Eliezer his servant, but will inherit his son born from his body. God also said that his descendants would be as many as the stars of heaven. In his age, he would not be able to give birth to the son anymore, and that his servant would be his heir instead of his son. But God said to him, said to him, his children to be born from his body shall be countless. Upon hearing them, hearing from God, he immediately gave up his thoughts and believed in God. Yeah, he just obeyed the voice of God and left his uh, 
his father's house in Babylon. But more than 10 years, God has not given him any son. But God showed him many stars in heaven. If you can number the stars, then your children should be the same. That means what? It's weird. It's ridiculous. The human thought. But he just you know, gave up his thought and he received the words of God. And it was counted as righteous. That is the faith. The words of God is something, oh, it's, you know, meaningful, you know, reasonable. I want to believe. No, it's not. The words of God, totally different from the words of man. The faith in God, not in man. When Abraham believed in the Lord God, God regarded that faith as righteous. That is correct. God still justifies them that believe in him and save them. He believed in the word of God, not because his, uh, his word seems to be reasonable in his thought, but because he believed in God. In other words, God is looking to the heart of man to call them that he foreknew and let them believe in him to justify them. Apostle Paul realized this truth and wrote to the saints of church in Ephesus. For by grace are you saved through faith, and that not of yourselves, it is a gift of God, not of works, lest any man should boast. Yeah, what that means. You know, God gives grace to whom he adds for new and gives them faith to know him and to believe him. The Bible says that God mocks the ridiculous, uh, ridiculous, but gives grace to the humble. Noah, he lived 5,000 years ago, was the only one at the time who had found grace in the eyes of God at the time. He said, how many, how many people find the grace in the eyes of God? Jesus said, you know, just before, when he coming again, you know, just exactly, you know, same as the time of Noah. That means, you know, few, almost nobody, few looking for grace in the eyes of God. Noah was only one who had found grace in the eyes of God at the time. God who had known him, came to him and told them to build the giant ark, 150 meters in length, and he built the ark by faith for 120 years through the faith in God. God gave him the faith. Let me ask a question. Have you received the faith from God? Because you believe in him? Returning to Abraham's faith again, seeing what it is that he believed in God, we hope to be a blessed time to look again at our faith. When Abraham became 99 years old, God who appeared to him again, by the time no, no son, and told them that he is the almighty God. Yes, we have to believe in God. Jesus is Almighty God, beyond our understanding. He also told him to walk in front of himself to be perfect. God made a covenant between him and Abraham, saying he would be a father among many people. He finally gave birth to his son, Isaac, in the promise of Almighty God when he became 100 years old. Impossible. For human being, but God is nothing is impossible. Jesus said, Whosoever believe, nothing is impossible. Apostle Paul testified about Abraham's faith in the Holy Spirit. 
What shall we say then that Abraham, our father, as pertaining to the flesh, hath found? For if Abraham were justified by works, he hath whereof to glory, but not before God. For what says the scripture? Abraham believed God, and it was counted unto him for righteousness. Righteousness means what? Forgiveness of sins. Now, to him that walketh is the reward and reckon of grace, but of that. But to him that walketh not, but believes on him that justifies the ungodly, his faith is counted for righteousness. He who testified of the gift of faith that Abraham received from God, saying, who against hope believed in hope, that he might become the father of many nations, according to that which was spoken, so shall thy seed be, and being not weak in faith, he considered not his own body now dead, when it was about an hundred years old, neither yet the deadness of Sarah's womb, he staggered not at the promise of God, through unbelief, but was strong in faith, giving glory to God, and being fully persuaded that what he had promised, he was able also to perform, and therefore it was imputed to him for righteousness. Yeah, you know, the the faith of God, you know, is a given as a, a gift, you know, from God. The more time passes by after promise, okay, even more stronger. But, you know, self-confidence, right? It's a man's face, it's a matter of time, it fades out, right? Yes. In the beginning, start with kind of head of dragon, but finishing, end up with, you know, tail of snake. When his son Isaac became a young man, God called Abraham to test him, tell him to give his son Isaac as a bond offering on a mountain among the mountains in the land of Moriah. He got up early in the morning and let Isaac bear the wood to use to burn Isaac as a bond offering. Through this, God showed Jesus, the only begotten son of God, to be crucified on the wooden cross, yeah, yeah, before he crucified, you know, he just bared, you know, carried on his back a wooden cross, you know, to, to the hill, through the hill of Golgotha. Yeah, crucified on the wooden cross as a bond offering to take away the sin of the world, Jesus did. Yeah, Isaac is kind of model of Jesus. Abraham is mother of Father God. When God made Abraham to prophecy of the things to come in the future, when Isaac asked him, where is the lamb to be used as the burnt offering? But there is a wood and wood and life and fire. Where is the lamb for burnt offering? Holy Spirit, you know, spoke to him as a prophecy. My son, God will provide himself a lamb for a bond offering. That means God shall be a man in the form of a lamb, all right, to die for our sins. It's a prophecy. God made the King Solomon build a temple in the Mount Moriah, yeah, to submit in you know, a bond offering to God, as he, as he had the prophecy through Abraham's mouth to offer bond offerings and then to have Jesus as his burnt offering, Calvary's cross on the Mount of Moriah. God said to Abraham, Hey, lay not thine hand unto the lad, neither do thou anything unto him. For now I know that thou fearest God, seeing thou hast not withheld thy son, thine only son from me. Yeah, when he lifted up his eyes, 
He graved the ram in the bush and offered burnt offerings for his son. It is as if Jesus, who was arrested and dragged forward, was to die on the cross like a burnt offering. That is correct. Even today, God is testing those who believe in him so that they can truly choose those who fear him to do their, his work. When Apostle Paul wrote to the Hebrews, he testified that these Abraham practices were not due to his works of righteousness, but by faith. By faith, Abraham, when he was tried, tested, right, offered up Isaac, and he that had received the promises offered up his only begotten son, of whom it was said that in Isaac shall thy seed be called. According to that, God was able to raise him up, even from the dead, from whence also he received him in a figure. What that means. You know, God promised, you know, through Isaac, all nations, people shall be blessed. The Isaac as in a model of Jesus, the Messiah. When God asked him to kill him, Abraham voluntarily to try to kill him. Why? He believed, even though Isaac died, God will raise him from the dead, just like Jesus raised from by Father. That is the faith. That's why you know, give thanks all the time. Because what? All things work together for good. See? You know, you school, right? Without test, there's no way to promote, right? Upper level of grade. From junior high to senior high, right? Elementary to junior high. Yeah, we have to do test. Same thing. All the Christians, you know, should pass through the test to be right, matured spiritually, to be able to walk for the Lord. Not any more baby Christians. Today's 99% baby Christians. Cannot do anything. Only ask God, give me, give me, give me. You know, baby, right? Baby. What a baby. Baby, you know, all things, you know, you know, take it to mouth, right? That's a baby. Baby Christians follow the lust of flesh, you know, lust of eyes and pride of life, regardless of their ages. When Apostle James wrote to the 12 tribes of Israel, he testified of Abraham's offering of Isaac, saying, being justified by man's work, not only by faith, taking the example of prostitute Rahab that was saved by helping spies, but the book of James is not the letter to the church, but a letter to the 12 tribes of Israel, emphasizing that they must faith must have faith as well as their fathers, Abraham. Apostle James is to show them in the Holy Spirit that he will repent, they will repent and believe in Jesus Christ during the time of Jacob's suffering. That is the great tribulation in the future. And at the same time, that they will be required to do the work of the law. Apostle John testified of Jewish saints to be saved during the time of great tribulation. Here is the patience of the saints. This saint is what? People of Israel. Here are they that keep the commandments of God and the faith of Jesus. Yes. These days, you know, the age of grace, whosoever believe in him shall be saved. But in the time of great tribulation, even the belief in Jesus is not enough. They have to keep the law. They have to walk of the law. That's why the Bible says, you know, today is a day for salvation. Today is a day for to receive grace of God. In conclusion, the faith that God calls them that he foreknew to give the grace in Lord Jesus Christ, they can raise them from the dead. This is why the Lord Jesus Christ, who was incarnation of God, and said, I am the resurrection and the life. 
he that believeth in me, though he would die, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. And after that, ask his question. Believes thou this? Believe you this? To Martha. Now, Lord Jesus Christ, in, in this time, just now, asking us also, do you believe this? Do you believe you die, you shall live? Do you believe when Jesus come, appear in the air when you're alive, you shall not die, just to be changed, immortal and incorruptible body, in the day of rapture, in the day of Christ? And also, you know, asking us today, do you believe that I am the Almighty God? Do you believe Him as Almighty God? If yes, you are blessed. Thank you, Father, through this message. Giving time, examine our faith, Lord. Our, whether our faith is from our heart, from our things. Be judged by our self-confidence or our faith is from the from God because you foreknew to be we are the children of Abraham thank you father and every time we hear your words we want to examine ourselves and if necessary we want to repent to come back to you, Lord.